About 600 years ago lived a very wise, peaceful and honest man. He worked as a hard working weaver, but he thought about God all day. His name was Pagat Kabirji. One day, while Kabirji was working, soldiers of the king stormed his house and arrested him. The soldiers said, Kabir, you are under arrest because people have complained. You are telling everyone that there is only one God and all religions are the same. So they put Kabirji in chains and brought him to the king. When the soldiers brought Kabirji to the king, he was asked to bow to the king. But Kabirji said, I only bow to God. The king was insulted and ordered that Kabirji be put in heavy chains and thrown into the Ganges River to be drowned to death. A crowd gathered near the river bank. The soldiers brought Kabirji to the river and threw him in. But instead of sinking and drowning, Kabirji's chains broke the moment it hit the water. And miraculously, Kabirji came floating on the water, seated on a deer skin. He was meditating and chanting, Ram, 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 Ram. Seeing this, the people and soldiers ran away in fear. Hearing about this failure, the king was angry. He ordered that Kabirji be burned alive. So the soldiers built a large pyre, made it burn hot and threw Kabirji in. For hours, Kabirji sat in the fire until the fire died down. Again, miraculously, Kabirji was unhurt and he was meditating and chanting, Ram, 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 Ram. Seeing this, the soldiers ran away in fear. The king was furious to learn Kabirji had survived again. He then ordered that Kabirji be trampled to death by his huge war elephant. Kabirji was made to sit on the floor and the soldiers got the elephant to charge towards Kabirji. But instead of crushing Kabirji, when the elephant was near Kabirji, it stood, it stopped and gently sat beside Kabirji as though it was a dear friend to Kabirji. And everyone around could hear Kabirji chanting, Ram, 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 Ram. Shocked and humbled at this spectacle, the king came before Kabirji and bowed before him and sought his forgiveness.